Hello, welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya. And as you can see, Ed is not here again. Anyway, um, it is currently 61 and cloudy in Warren. Um, and the very good news is tomorrow is going to be high of 76 and sunny. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not hump day yet. Hello, Diane. Um, yeah, the camel toe panties. That's exactly what I was talking about. Nasty, isn't it? Why would somebody wear panties to give themselves camel toe? That is about vile. Um, girls, you can get it on your own. If you want something that big hanging out, you is going to look nasty. Just saying. Not that camel toes look good, whether it's small or big. You shouldn't have them. Word to the wise, avoid it. So, Lisa, hello. Do you notice Edwin is not here? Yeah, last minute call. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. whatever. Don't worry, you know he's going to hear the wrath later. Anyway, so... Um, did you happen to see uh, the picture that Diane posted on my page with the camel toe panties? And what are your thoughts on it? I'm sure that you have to have something to say about it. Because we all know Lisa will tell us what she thinks. <laughs> That's a good thing. So, uh outside of the camel toe panties uh we're going to be discussing a little bit of uh voyeurism um exhibitionists and what exactly is too much pda what is it to you how much pda is too much pda for anyone out there that's what i would like to know now when it comes to like cute PDA, a little old couple holding hands and hugging and that's all cute. And you know, you gotta love it. You know, they can do whatever they want. They, they're just adorable. Oh yeah. It's on my page. Um, I don't know if you missed it Friday when I was discussing how like that's a thing coming out. Hello, Adam. Um, yeah, it's a thing that's coming out, uh, I guess women want to wear, they would like to show camel toe, um, but these things are massive, okay, it's like sticking a damn camel's toes in your damn pants, it looks hideous, for one, okay, it's not attractive, I would like to know what man finds camel toe attractive that is vile and nasty that's something you should not be doing and you should not be buying panties to promote this okay for years women have been trying to avoid the camel toe why in god's name do you want someone to think that you got freaking big old freaking nasty herkin what meat blobs hanging down there that's just wrong okay no man wants a big old nasty thing. You want it to look nice and put together, not out there like that. It's just disgusting. I'm sorry. That is my opinion. Now, if there is somebody out there who actually does this. Now, Diane, did you happen to see they have camel toe panties for men? Now, I personally think it's so men's balls look bigger. It could be for other reasons, too. But still, no. That's when we go back to wearing the 80s jeans and you can see the damn package like you should, like the butt and the thighs and the package. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, hold on a second. Got to get my hag wear on. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm telling you, I don't understand why 
anybody would find that okay. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, still, yes, it is still gross. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I really don't get it. And I can tell you what, folks, you're never going to see me wearing anything with camel toe, nothing in my pants, and guaranteed you're not going to be seeing camel toe anything because I have jeans that fit appropriately. Even if they are tight in the buttocks, they're not tight in the front. Okay, well, that just means that I have a booty, but still, they're, they're fit. So, you know, you don't have to see that junk. Might as well just let your damn beef curtains hang out in a damn bathing suit. That's my opinion. Okay, so now, PDA. Hello, Matthew. Um, so, PDA. Uh, yeah, if you notice, I keep trying to get away from these camel toe panties that were brought up earlier. Um, PDA, we're going to go on a lighter subject before we start getting into what we normally get into. What is acceptable and what's not? Um, do you think it's okay to go to a restaurant and jam your throat down or your tongue down somebody's throat? Hello, Chris. Actually, I think Chris would. Chris, do you find it okay to go to a restaurant and jam your tongue down someone's throat? I think Chris would do it because Chris will do about anything. Um, hello, Bruce. So anyone have any, <laughs> any thoughts on PDA? What's too much and what's acceptable? Yet yeah, notice Edwin is not here. Yeah, I got a last minute <clears throat> text uh, stating, um, you know, a little mishap or whatever you want to call it. Um, he'll be hearing about it later. Anyway, uh, no tongue in public? Say Chris would do it. Um, okay. What about touchy-feely? What is acceptable for PDA? Um, grabbing someone's crotch, grabbing her butt, their breast to sis, 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 sis. Um, just a hug, holding hands. Um, now again, I think it really all depends on where you're at and how many people are around. But then this would also go into being an exhibitionist, how far you really want to take it. <clears throat> but we're going to lean into that. So, um, yeah, I think it, for me, it depends on location. It depends on who's around. Um, you know. I mean, certainly when people are eating, they don't want to be seeing all kinds of nasty, sloppy kind of shit going on. So, <laughs> um, my boy text, yeah, he's going to get a rash of shit. Uh-huh, yeah, last minute. So, uh... He says he's supposed to be here, oh, quarter to eight, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. We shall see. <clears throat> That's all I could say. So, uh, now, okay, hello, Julie. Um, okay. <laughs> Waving. Um, okay, now say, okay, in a restaurant. Yes, I agree holding hands, you know, maybe a little peck, you know, nothing to, you know, it, it you know, people are eating. Um, now say you're, oh, okay, you're at the beach. Now, I do not want to see two people going at it on the beach, 
Okay, I don't need to be seeing nobody else's wood, you know, flopping around on the beach like a damn fish out of water. Um, but I don't know. There's certain things that bring out certain things in people, shall we say. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think, uh, I'm having a brain fart here. Like, are you over there, Michael? No, it's the dogs. Um, what do you call it? Oh, Julie, I did want to tell you, remember Radisson, all my little pictures of Radisson, my boxer? Um, he got himself a set of wheels, so he's toting around and nasty, I guess, has since deceased i divorced him so <clears throat> but uh radisson's doing well i just thought you'd like to know that since you like boxers now i'm back to my dobies so quick kiss okay yeah on the beach th there's too much you can see i'm jealous julie i'm jealous okay since you're on the beach all the time tell me what do you find acceptable for pda Okay, I'm sure you have to see all kinds of shit living there. Um, you know, the worst thing anybody could, uh, oh my God, that is actually going to come into the voyeurism that we're going to be discussing, Chris. Um, <clears throat> what do you got? Yeah, the beach... There's not enough clothes to keep the shit in on a man if you start something. Okay, so you're either going to have pants that are like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Here's a man's pants. If you're well endowed, you're going to see this. If you're not, it's going to be just a wee little nothing. I mean, it's got to be embarrassing, okay, unless you're wearing the camel toe panties over your junk in the bathing suit. That's the only thing I could think of. Um, <clears throat> it's, this is like, I don't even know how to approach certain things with this subject. Um, there's so many angles where, you know, you can just go. Um, you see old people. <laughs> okay, now, Julie, are they worse than the younger people because they know they can get away with it? <clears throat> um, because that's going to be me when I'm older. I'm going to know I hit a certain age, and I'm going to know that I can get away with it, and I'm just going to do it just because I can get away with it. <laughs> so... Um, Ed said he won't be here until nine on the beach. Yeah, Ed's on the beach getting it on. Uh, oh, I was going to bring up the Speedo. Men, who wears a damn Speedo on the beach? Okay. No, don't do us any favors because it's not. We don't want to see that. Okay, keep the package underneath the board shorts or whatever shorts you happen to be wearing. Speedos, no, that is not how you get a date. It is wrong, wrong on every level. It is so disgusting. Okay, uh uh, whether you got a freaking trunk of an elephant in your pants or you got little Mr. Inchworm going on. Nobody wants to see it, okay? Even if you're a damn bodybuilder, nobody wants to be seeing that shit, okay? Keep it wrapped. Keep it packaged, okay? No. That's a straight up, flat out, no. Uh-uh. I see that. I'm walking the other way because that shit's about nasty, okay? Oh, oh. Ooh. I think I almost threw up a little. That is just the worst thing. 
uh, let's say, uh, hi, Col uh, Colin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I wish I could. Uh, 90 year old men? Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh my God, Chris, you seem to get away with everything. I don't know how the hell you get away with everything you do, but you do. It never ceases to amaze me. That's all I can say. So yes, okay. So this went from PDA to Speedos really quick. Men, don't do the Speedo. Please don't do the Speedo. It's not a good look. <clears throat> Okay, I don't care if you're on an exotic island. Okay, you want it, You want women to see your shit? Go to a naked uh, beach because then you can walk around, let that shit flap around. You can run up and down the beach with it flapping, flapping, flapping. Okay, they might appreciate it. I'm not going to appreciate it on the beach. Keep the Speedo at home. That's just one of the facts here. Now, Chris, okay, now... We're getting into something that you'll enjoy because we all know Chris takes Chris is unique. <laughs> Voyeurism. Okay. Now there's many ways to look at this. Okay. From watching another couple to videotaping yourselves. Um, uh, you know, do webcamming back and forth, you know, uh, nude resorts, you know, there's many, many ways that you could do this. Now, has anybody been entertained by that? Um, is it something that you do? Um, or do you try to just get a sneak peek? Is that your thing? What is it that men like about voyeurism okay because it's see in everything that i've read it says that men like it more now don't get me wrong i'll sit down and watch a porn i have no problem with that shit. but i want to know what it is that makes men tick seeing other things okay i'm not a man so i don't know how to answer that this inquiring mind would like to know what men think about voyeurism. Uh, is there something you don't like about it? Or is there something that you dabble in? Um, you know, the door is wide open. You know, I want to hear. I want to know what guys think about this subject. Um, you know, as far as that goes for me, you know, you're with a guy and things are, you know, it, that's one thing, um, you know, but I don't, I mean, I know a lot of women do the webcam stuff. I personally can't see myself doing it. Um, cause as soon as somebody would want something, I'd be like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> you know? That's just me. <laughs> Unless I'm in a relationship, not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Um. So, yeah. Hold on. Let me get my hag wear out so I can see. I'm sure Chris is touching on this one. Let's see. You love the life. Oh my good lord. On it. Oh my God, Chris, 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 you know, it shouldn't really even surprise me that you'd be on something like that. Chris, you live life. I would love to be in your brain for just one minute. Cause I don't think I could handle anymore. Um, and just see your points of view on everything because yeah, you, I think you are the extreme with everything that comes across. That's what I have to say. 
<laughs> nothing wrong with that. It just means that you have a big set of gonads. Okay. That's the only way I could put it. <clears throat> I, kudos. Um, I will not be looking that up because as we are friends and we've been friends for many years, <laughs> I just couldn't. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Uh, yes. Okay, now Chris. Another thing we're going to be touching on is, um, which we kind of were, you know, with the being an exhibitionist. Now you don't lock the door. <laughs> uh, Chris. Um, oh, hi, Joe. Sorry. Um, what do you got? An exhibitionist. Chris, I'm sure you would drop trowel and do anything anywhere. I do not doubt that in the least, you know, you know, hello, Glenda. You know, I would really like to know, you know, I don't know why everyone's being so shy. These are all topics that are always brought up. Guys can talk to guys, you know, about all this kind of stuff. Bring it out. I want to hear about it. I want to know what makes people tick. What is it about these subjects that, that entice you so much. That's what I want to know. So while you're thinking about that, let me just say, okay, May 29th, tomorrow, actually, I'm going to be putting out an event. <clears throat> Anyone who's in New Jersey, New York, PA, and you want to come out, Martinsville Tavern, May 29th. We're going to be living air from there. Uh, there's going to be live music. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I will have more details about it tomorrow um, after I get the rest of the specifics. And uh, anyone who can join us, feel free to come out. You're sure to enjoy yourself. So anyway, back to uh, Matthew. Hello. Oh, Chris. Yes, don't forget Chris's uh, 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 website, come see me, C O M S I M E dot com. Um, and he will accommodate you with um, what is it, CBC, CBD, whatever. He has all that kind of stuff to help people. So, <clears throat> oh, good Lord. Hold on, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Call me. I'm sure everybody would love to hear what you have to say. This could get really interesting now. <laughs> Did you fall over? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Now, see, I don't know how many of you out there know Chris. He's very unique. He's a riot, one of a kind, that I will give you. Um, he will make you laugh. And, oh, why, did, why didn't I ring? Say, I have my ring. Hold on. Let me call him back. Hey, Emma. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hello, Chris. Hey, am I on unusual radio? <laughs> Yes, you are. Well, welcome, everybody. <laughs> I know there's only four viewers on this show. Guess what? We got products for you. We got products for everyone. But guess what, man? Everything is up for grabs right now. Everyone, listen. Everything is a gray area. And I know you, Ed, you're going to be listening to this. Ed would like to know what the gray area is. Right, Ed? Ed's, Ed's not here, Chris. No, I know Ed's not there, but, like, I want Ed's listening. <laughs> he will definitely hear this. So, oh, Ed. Yes, he will. I want you to do something for me. You look into my business and see what's going on, man. CBD. Cascade. 
This is all you need to do, man. Just know I'm up on everything, everything everyone is up to. So whatever, listen, man. I want to talk about, I want to talk about, listen, man, on music radio, what's yeah. the demographics, man? What are, why don't you tell me? What, well, what, what are you? I would think your demographics would be some of the locals to Basking Bridge. And I would hope it would be because I'm only going to speak to people I know. <laughs> well, now, Chris, we, can do, we can do podcasts, everything you want to do. But listen, man, come see me dot com is a good start. Is it? Yes, it is. It's very, very. Uh, it's, listen, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I'm doing pre made meals sent to your house, CBD infused. The whole nine yards, man. You're getting everything. I'm seriously, I'm very knowledgeable in everything you guys can even imagine. And Chris, really, I, I would like to do business with your company and use your radio. Would you? <clears throat> yes. Well, you said. You. I want yeah. to do business with you guys. Yes. Uh, yes. So you have said we. Oh, well, I we, want. I, I want my product to be a local thing. Um, Listen, man, if anyone who is listening to this, I got a fucking back deal going on with Coca Cola. It's not a back deal, it's a fucking real deal. So, listen, my product is going to be fucking infused with Coca Cola products, dude. <laughs> this is my shit, dude. Like, everyone can laugh. And listen, if you're in the business I am, please laugh and know I'm going over you. And I'm going to have the biggest fucking business where I'm getting a percentage. I'm going to do this. Oh, I don't doubt it, Chris. 15 cents a pound. 15 cents a pound, man. Okay, Chris. I, me, Chris, Chris, hold on. It's going to make me 600000 fucking Chris, dollars next year. Chris, I have a question for you. <clears throat> okay. Now, <clears throat> what kind of food is it that you're infusing with this? Well, um, well, Listen. Okay, so there's a big spectrum on what I'm, what I'm talking about. There is Whole Foods, which is going to be the big. Hello? Hello? Yeah, sorry. So listen, Whole Foods is going to be the biggest infuser of anything. Okay. Now, what? Do but, I need but, a legal market on this? Listen, man. I just had this whole discussion with my parents. The whole my fucking parents are tripping. But look at this, Chris. Man. You're always I tripping. I got it, man. This is this is science. It's simple science. Look at my website. Go to www.comsime.com and learn a little bit about CBD because guess what? CBD is helping everybody. It's even helping. It's even helping the sexually deprived. There's another fucking show, Tanya. Is it? Sexually deprived, man. If you ain't getting your nut, listen to me. <laughs> I, Chris, you, you kill me. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah? I'm telling you the truth. I'm being fucking... 100% honest with you. Oh, I know I you are. To, I will never fucking... Listen, I got a brand. And that's freaking... Come see me dot com. C-O-M-S-I-M-E dot com. Please do business with me. I got the best product ever. And I want to... I, I want to, like... I really want to, like, roll some money into this show. Because mm -hmm. I think you got something here, Tanya. You got something. Thank you. Thank you. No, you really do, because I'm going to roll this into my whole thing, man, and I want to advertise. Listen, anyone out there who is listening, which is probably only about five to ten people right now, but listen to me, man. Actually, I'm unless they're friends, you can't see them. So. But listen, it doesn't matter. I'm your guy. I'm the guy that's freaking rolling the shit out. You really, really can't, like, I mean, like, Listen, man, if you want to get into this or if you just want to be a patient, remember, you're always a patient and we will treat you like a patient. We're not 
there's nothing that the FDA can say. We know we are helping you. Right. Fuck the FDA. You're not getting anything from them. You're going to get more knowledge from some some of the best like me. So, like, if you like me, if you don't like me, it doesn't fucking matter, man. I'm telling all you listeners out there, come see me. Dot com. And that's C O M S I M E dot com. Come see me and I will I will make your life if you got like relatives, anything that's dying of cancer, I can make everything go really smooth. I've done it with dogs, I've done it with people, I've been in the funeral business, and I've helped people since then. I've been working on this for many, many years. I'm probably one of the most knowledgeable people in fucking New Jersey that knows what they're even talking about. And I can even give you guys references. If you want references, anything you need, I got you. You have cancer, come see me. That's all right. I have to say, man. Okay, I'm yeah. legalized by the FDA, but guess what? I can help your condition, and I know I can. And that's all I have to say. All right. Well, let me get back to the show. Um, thank you for calling and letting everyone know about your... No, thank you. Thank you for having me on your show tonight. And I appreciate it, Tanya. And, you know, anything I can like, say, like, make anyone feel more comfortable, because everyone's got something, you know, everyone's got someone that's hurt right now. It doesn't matter if it's chronic pain. It doesn't matter what it is. You call me. I want to make sure your doctor has your plan and the, the, that plan is going to be made up by me because I know what you seek and I know what you deserve. That's it. That's what I have to say. I can help you. And I love you all. Thank okay. you so much, Tony, for having me on your show. Okay, I love you too, Chris. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. So. Oh, that's probably Edwin now. So, anyway. So, yes, that was Chris. We've all seen him on here before. And we've discussed his comesee.me.com. C-O-N-S-I-E-M-E.com. So, check out his site. And uh, he can, I'm not an expert in it. I know nothing about it. So, uh he would be the man you would need to talk to anyway uh so yes now that sir edwin has finally arrived that would be that rumble that you might have heard through the dogs you know that fine machinery that he's driving um yeah he's here anyway uh so yeah i did get a video today of him trying to watch 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 walk my dogs it was actually quite comical you would actually laugh i am going to post it um yesterday but no today he actually did a face plant into the dog uh pen as they ran around it yes so oh look who decided to show up i'm sorry everyone i could bring my book did you write in it I did. Well, you better make it good, because... What are you doing? Oh, now he's going to write in it. Such Ed a dick. is an ass. ass hole. There you go. See? He already knows. I already started giving him shit. Yeah, this was a weird... Yeah, um, I, I don't want excuses. You no, no excuses. You I know, know that. What did I tell you? That was my leftovers. <laughs> yep. So, yes. Anyway, anyway, so Chris was just on. He called. He called. What happened? Oh. And then I had to call him back. And uh, he was telling us about his site. Can you see me? <laughs> yes. So. I've told like two people about that in the last couple of days. Have you? Yes. Rather interesting. So. If you ask me. All right, anyway, so we've had a few people joining us today, but uh, we kept getting sidetracked on my conversations and what I was discussing. So You were pulling a me? No, I, Chris and, you know. 
So we were talking about um, men wearing thongs and how you don't do that. Voyeurism, <laughs> exhibitionist, P what, how much is too much PDA? Um, PD. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he had to think about that. Uh, I did. Really? I did. Really? He had to think about that. P -ba -da -d -ba -da -a -ba -da. I'm not even trying to hear you. Okay. So, anyway. Yeah. Now, Ed. Come on, Lisa. Give him hell. Oh, he's going back to the pizza hat. You don't get the pizza hat tonight. I know. No, you don't rank. How about the hot hamburger? You mean the uh, beef curtain? Beef curtain burger, because that's about all it looks like. Beef curtain burger. Yes. Too much PDA. Okay, so how much is too much? What do you think is too much? Uh, fingering. What? I, I just just an answer. I mean, what if it's under the table and nobody can really tell? What if you're sitting in a movie theater, or say you're at an opera and you're sitting way up high? And you're in your own booth. Pretty much all bets are off. <laughs> if they don't see it, it didn't happen. Yeah. Exactly. That's That's well, why I, I said it depends on the situation. Right. And if now but I was saying if you're out eating, nobody really wants to be seen nasty. It's kind of like going True. to Walmart and seeing all the nasty shit that walks around there. Well. That's not even PDA. No, you, no, because people are afraid to touch that shit. Yeah, that's PDU. PDU. Public displays of ugly. Yes. So. CBD or THC. So anyway, Mr. Ed. Oh, there we go. Now that you've decided to join us. Hmm. You are not wearing my... I need my glasses. Okay, I knew that. I left mine in the car. My really hag wear. <clears throat> I have some people at Costco that are going to tune in. Oh, are they? Yes. Are they tuning in now? Uh, I would, they said. They, uh, or she said she would, and the other she said she uh, would. Okay, okay. Well, hello, I everyone. Told her about everyone my... that we can't see, like, if, if you like... You don't yeah, like the page or follow, uh, just comment and we'll acknowledge you because we can not a lot of times we can't see everybody who's actually watching. True. So, so we don't know names or anything like that. So like, feel free to chime in and we will gladly talk to you. Anyway. I'm you talking. made me look at that screen to see you shoving the little Booby booby. Pot, it's not little. It's a it's a little. It booby. may be little in human terms, but in terms of mouth terms, it's it a ain't it's little. a little booby pop. Must be cold in here. Oh, here we go. This is for being late. This Come on, you got you got to do more than that for whoever has not joined us. I this is Mister Willy Wonka, and this is the Ed Beater. They're twins. Okay, this is Diane's my BFF. This one is mine. They are only used on Edwin. Why? Because I'm Edwin! And who was late? And I late? usually deserve it. Yes, thank you. Lisa made a rhyme. Roll, roll, roll a joint, pass it down the line. Take a puff, enjoy the stuff, and blow your F in mind. <laughs> that is hilarious. Are you smoking Chris, something? Chris, you just found the person going to do your commercials. Yes. Oh, my God. So I sang that pretty nicely if you don't say so myself. You want me to sing Found a Peanut? Yes, actually. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I hadn't heard that song in 40 years till she, she sang it, like, what, a month ago? I'm like, she started singing. I'm like, oh, my God. That's a flashback to when I was, like, getting... What? Wedgies in the grade school. <laughs> I thought you still got wedgies. I do, just not in grade school. Exactly. Actually, I do get them in grade school because sometimes the sixth graders are pretty damn big, bigger than me, god damn it. Really? Yep. Okay. I mean, taller. Yeah. Not bigger. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. So, anyway. Um, so, Ed. Talk about hemp. That's what Chris wants. 
we well we still need to get ed's opinion on pda <coughs> excuse me voyeurism and exhibitionist well, well we know ed would bear it anywhere hey you give a brother a 20 hairy ass coming out that's all i'm saying you want to bear it i'm going to make sure my waxer's there to wax your ass you got plenty left too. <laughs> you do have plenty left. Oh no, no, no. I am not touching your ass. <laughs> I will have somebody there to do it for me. Oh, you'll have a <laughs> wax assistant or a wax assistant. No, she will take care of all of it, including the gonads. So Scott asked how those things were used on me and obviously you showed him. So no, <laughs> whack him again. Yes. I, this, I keep telling him to bend over. Hey now, every time you do that, I hear that sound, my <laughs> asshole puckers a little bit. I think it's because you're blowing a kiss like, come on baby, come on oh, baby. Oh no, 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 it's trying to squeeze itself shut. <laughs> I may not shit for three days it's one day, it may actually just tighten itself into a knot, like the, like the boobies and the penis tying in the knot. I'll be like, oh my God, I can't shit no more, oh my God. No, that would be your entangled ass hairs. That's why you need to get an ass wax. Not that I know personally, okay, but hmm. apparently the way he talks about it, he has a hairy knot. First of all, I don't talk about it. You have talked about it. All right, I probably have. Ed? But. What haven't you talked about? Uh, all right, good point. Yes. Okay, so. so so PDA, yeah, you know, within reason. I mean, if you're literally going to be like pulling dresses up or bras down or something, and you're in like a family-friendly restaurant, that's a bit much. Uh huh. If you're in a movie theater, who cares? Oh, what if you have people alongside of you? Well, then you know, do it within reason. Don't well, be... you can't be sticking your hand down somebody's pants. Now, hold it, hold it. This is a flashback. Rewind when I first started this show. I was talking about a guy, dumb ass, a damn dumb ass. Dumb okay? ass? In the movie theater. Hmm. Yeah, not you. Well, you probably did this too, but freaking going to go to his girl's cooch cooch, he sticks his hand down her shirt to go into her pants. The hell? You're a damn dumb ass. Girl, you need to move on. Because if he don't know the difference... Yeah, that's like a detour that's... He couldn't reach. That, that's like what it was saying in the article. Couldn't I couldn't understand reach? why I couldn't get to it. Well, you don't go in through the shirt, you damn dumbass. That's like taking a winding mountain road. <laughs> and unless you have like a really long arm that's going to like come around, you know, or you got to... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're a short guy like me you ain't doing that. I, if I tried that, I don't even know if I'd reach the belt. <laughs> Be like, God damn it. Look, Lee, come on, sit up, sit up higher. <laughs> sit up higher, damn it. Help me, help a brother out. Uh huh. Hi, Sadie. Did you come make your appearance? Over the mountains and through the river. To Grandmother's house we go. Uh, you can't hit the river if you can't get to it. To Grandmother's cooch we go. Ugh. I just had a flash. Oh. In my mind. Okay, so what is it that you would flash? If... Just, just picturing what I just sang. Okay, I was going to say, did you actually experience that? Oh, God, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Although I, okay. Do, I do know a couple of gills. Hold it. Hold it. Now, we I were discussing... I am about to be thrown no. under the bus? No, okay. Earlier, we were discussing men should not wear a damn thong on the beach. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you're built like fucking He-Man. You don't do it. That is nasty. It is vile. Don't need to see it. That is true. You don't even wear underwear like that. Okay? No. Anyway. <clears throat> so, <laughs> you know how older men seem to think they look good in the... Banana. The Speedo. Pouches and... The Speedo. The thong. And remember what... Let's flash back to when I did the show about the different types of asses. And when you reach mm -hmm. a certain age, you have the mudslide. 
<clears throat> well, when you have the mudslide going on with the thong, okay, and then you got saggy shit packed into the front of a Speedo, that is not good. No, it's not. It's not good at all. Now, with that said, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Bathing suit. Bathing suit. Warning, <laughs> warning, warning. Oh, my God. Hide the children. Hell, hide the adults. Hell, when I was younger, I would go to Spruce Run. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a reservoir. There was this, every summer, there was this old guy. He would walk up and down and up and down and up and down the beach in a Speedo, a blue Speedo. Okay. Permanently in burned Bing! on your mind. With fucking wood. Wow. It was the most repulsive thing. Wow. And I mean, it's like, and it's like a train wreck. You wonder why is this guy walking around like that? Either that or he had something clamped around it to keep it out. Because I don't know <laughs> if at that age you could even keep it out. This was you used to go there when in high school? After high school, college? I was, I would say, from 17 to 23. Okay. Okay. I don't think the little blue pill existed back then, right? That thing was always full tilt, straight ahead. Okay. Maybe it was just his compass. He'd look down and go, I got to go that way. No, I think he was packing something around it. Mm. And he was a wee, tiny little man. Wee. With the mudslide. And the wee wee. Well, the way he was packing it, you would think that he had a fucking trunk in there. Oh, really? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's even longer. I mean, oh. it was like... Oh, my God. <laughs> there was no mistaking what was going on there. I mean, I was traumatized at a young age after seeing that. At a young age, at 23? I was 17 for 16. Oh, okay. 15. So he continued to walk around there for six, seven years? Oh, yeah. And you continued to go there? And oh, we maybe, had no choice. Maybe. What? That's why he kept showing up. It's because you and your friends kept uh, showing up. Ah, yeah, no. Yeah. Hello, Carl. Hello, Brian. Hello, Terry. Oh, look at Terry's finally joined. Terry, Terry you we're not here, here on Monday. So No, Terry, I thought you died, actually. I said that. We had a moment of silence. I actually took a hat off and held it. Exactly. Like, let's for our friend Terry. He's not here. Uh, he's, this is the beef curtain uh, hat because it, there's no burger in there. It's just the beef curtain. It might, it might pass for chicken. No, not chicken's not even that thin. This no, but it's white. is a beef curtain. One of the nasty beef curtains we saw on vaginal reconstructive surgery. Roast beef curtains, and I'm wearing them on my head. Yep. So, why do, why do okay, no, anyway. Wrong? Now, with that being said, all the trauma away from me. Okay. Is it like, what is the worst? Here's Danielle Scab. Here's the average woman. No, this <laughs> is Danielle Scab. I misspoke. <laughs> Okay. You are correct. <laughs> okay. Now, what is the most hideous thing you've seen? With oh, my God. I'm falling in. Oh, Danielle, quick. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. She can't. No, you're probably right. She can't. The most hideous thing. That we've... you've seen. Like, most older women don't do that. But you have some funky-ass old women that will just do whatever. So, I want to know. What have you seen? What has somebody seen where you're like, women, you don't do that. Please mm. never do that. What is it? Mm. Well, actually, the picture you sent me the other day of a potential girlfriend <laughs> with her little tank top. <laughs> actually, it was more like here, and yet they were still hanging down to here. And she had shorts on, and I think she squeezed that whole 320-pound body into this thing. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay. That, that, okay. That would be one of the sock boobs that just hang down. It has a little at the bottom, you know, where the toes go. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's just a flat all the way down, the sock the boob. Toes go? We, yes, we, we may have to go back and go over this 
at some point about the different types of boobies and uh, buttocks because you know they all have names. So banana hammock. That's the damn word I was trying to think of. Banana hammock. Yeah. Lisa's comment there. Hello, Jim. <clears throat> Uh, anyone from Monmouth County and Ocean County, Middlesex County, or Ocean, you want to chat with woman? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Any woman from Monmouth, Ocean, yeah, I Ocean County, know. County, Middle Middlesex. Yeah, I missed something. I don't, something know, I don't, I don't know what. Yeah. Yeah, what I that's missed all something about. on that. <clears throat> Explain that one to me so I can elaborate or say something or whatever. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah. We don't get it, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, okay. So, voyeurism. Voyeurism. That is when you watching watch, other people. Yes. Okay. What is acceptable? What is not acceptable? Uh, who wouldn't want to watch their girlfriend get... Banged. Chris said that earlier. I stole it, Chris. <laughs> he did. I don't know. I... Can I eat? I don't care. You're going to eat it? No. Huh. Oh, don't want to go to waste. downstairs. Yeah, I know. I got uh, some later. So, hmm. what's acceptable? What is not acceptable? Now, well, video watching... ta videotaping each other? Web each sex? other? Yes. If you want to do that, I mean, who cares? Okay, watching another couple. Uh, Does the other couple know you're watching? Yes. Okay. Then. Are they all consenting adults? Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now when you get into the voyeurism where it's kind of like they're sneaking around people's windows. Yes. Is uh, that you? And I promised never to do that again when I was 17. <laughs> Thankfully, it was expunged, so no one even knows. <laughs> I was going to say, is this something that you would do, Ed? Realistically, no. For purposes of this show, hell fucking yeah. <laughs> and then if you'd like me to look inside your window, 732-560-4398. You are not stuffing that whole damn thing in your mouth like no. that. No. Oh, no. Of course not. No, I was just picking up the... Yeah. I'm serious. Oh, that that was vile. Why? Why? <laughs> you got white on your tongue. You were so gross. <laughs> Uh, Look. Uh, 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 oh, don't, don't you. I'm, oh, Jesus, God. I do not need to see you and think that. <laughs> don't do it. Just don't. Okay. Hmm. Yes. We're very good friends, and uh, he is my co-host. We have a lot of fun. Certain things I do not need to see. Oh, my good Lord. Sorry. Do not talk with your mouth full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's been watching this show knows I'm trying to teach him how to eat in public. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All gone. Can I laugh with my mouth full? Just we don't want to see what's left over in your mouth, so. All right. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so this um, thing looks like a little red riding hat, little red riding hood, or whatever. No, like a little a, yellow beef curtain. A this, little Miss Muppet. Oh, that must be a nasty one. Why? Because everything around the beef curtain, okay, like has some kind of fungus. <laughs> <laughs> It does have a fungus. It does have a fungus. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So it has a fungus. Yes. <clears throat> okay. But I'm you, a fun guy, so you can check. Hmm? No, I'm good. Like... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually Okay. So all right. Now. Where's Thomas? I thought I saw him pop on earlier, but 
I didn't know. Lisa I, took Friday off, and then although she did join us late, I yes. think, and then Thomas took takes today off. Yes. What the far people? So oh. anyway, hold it, hold it. Let me refresh again. Anybody in New York, New Jersey, or PA, May 29th, we are airing live from Martinsville Tavern. Um, there's going to be live music. And, of course, you're going to have us. And it's going to be a great night. They're extending happy hour. So yes, you they are. want to go and have some fun. How can you not have fun? Because you know we are going to liven up the place. <clears throat> and they have great food, great service. It'll be a time that you will thoroughly enjoy. So come out and join us. I will be posting more information on you are tomorrow as well as I will be sending out uh, information on the event. So <clears throat> after my meeting tomorrow, I'll have more information. Yes, and if there's 75 people there, plus us two, 76 people are gonna have a time of their life and I am gonna go through hell. Hey, if we can find find three single ladies. And if you're not single, if you're not happy, that's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to play the dating game. Three single or three Actually, unhappily married? Um, there's two eligible men. One here. One that actually works at the restaurant. So if anybody's looking for uh, a date with Ooh, Sir there's Edwin. There's a whole um, or the gentleman at the restaurant, uh, that there will be uh, an, a little chance that you just might. So, hmm. but uh, if you do come out, be aware that you will be signing a release because you will be on social media and it is R-rated. So be this prepared. This is correct. Yes. You will be R. There will right. be pictures, there will be video, and there will be live streaming. So. That's right. We will be broadcasting live from the stream. Oh, my God. Really, Ed? Really? That was lame. Yeah, it was. That was lame even for dumbass people. <laughs> for me, it was extremely <laughs> lame. I usually am pretty damn good. Yes. This time. All right. Well, are we going to run a little later? Let us know. Should we run a little later or should we wrap it up now? Wrap it up, baby. Everyone's going to be like, <laughs> All I know. Be done with it. When no you said, more. Hold on. I was just going to do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought that okay. thing was supposed to help. It does help. <laughs> it's more of a seeing it and reacting. <laughs> yeah. That's why you're like, I got hit there too tonight. Good, you deserve it. But it wasn't really, really, really bad. Miminize. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, what do we got going on here? <clears throat> what are we doing? Oh, hey, Ryan. And I. Okay, so. This is weird. I'm not getting comments. You're not getting shit. Why? Because no. you were late, buddy. You suck. Apparently. Wait, what movie was that where he's like, you suck, 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 suck? Oh, uh, Corky Romano, my favorite movie. Oh, there you go. One so, of my favorite movies. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it. Oh, my God. So funny. The one brother, you know, when he can't read or whatever, he's like, you suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. <coughs> yeah. That's right. The one brother can't read and the other one was gay. Yes. Hysterical. But they loved, they loved each other like brothers. Yes. Great movie. Anyway. Okay. So now. Uh, Diane, when she first came on, had to bring up the camel toe panties. I'm still why, waiting to hear Diane, why a why? woman would want to wear that. Women, I'll say it again. We don't do that. Camel toes are nasty. You look hoish, to be blunt. That's right. Okay? Plus and then you're going to put like panties on to make it look double? No. No. Mm, yeah. No. You have jeans that fit right. You can have it tight in the butt, not in the crotch. Yeah. <clears throat> you just got that baby out. <laughs> and if you're going to comb the hair. No. And then fold it, it together. 
What? Ah, don't do it. That's my point. No, excuse me. Like I said, personally, every woman should be clean. That means waxing or shaving or whatever. So you don't have a nasty cooch. I agree. Anyway, so there will be no combing over the hair. That is nasty. Doesn't that help the camel toe look? Sorry. No, not going there. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Yeah, mm -mm. don't do that. No. Don't. If you don't, have to don't, comb don't. your damn pubic hairs, there's an issue. Ladies, you could at least trim it. Nobody wants a damn go bush diving in the fucking wild just to find that thing. Oh, look. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Wait, what's that? What? Oh, no. No, wrong one. Okay. Yeah. So, just... just no combing yeah. of the pubic hairs. <clears throat> Same thing with the butt. Women I should mine. not have a hairy butt. I don't think women have hairy butts. Do they? Yeah, hello. What what's the... it look like in a locker room? Oh my God! You, women's hair does not stick out of their ass. Well, that, I'm saying I don't think they have. Unless I don't think they have hair on their ass. They do. Do they? I make sure so I get mine waxed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <clears throat> I don't want to be combing and blow drying someone's ass. <laughs> Honey, can you get this for me? Uh, yeah, it's just um. Yeah, no. So, uh, yeah, mm. it's, uh, besides that, hello, who wants a damn dingleberry if you go doo doo? Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, if you don't so have you're talking hair. about waxing inside, too. In the, I'm not talking about the cheeks, I'm talking about the crack. Oh, I thought you were talking about the cheeks. No, in the crack, in the, in crack. the crack, you wax in the crack. <clears throat> In the jungle, the, no, so, in the crack, the hairy crack, the banana, really? yeah, about, I, I lost the words. I, I had something yeah, in there, no. but. Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, if you take care of your buttocks, your cavern, but and your little top. buttock mountains. Um, your what? You don't have to, your buttock mountains. <laughs> Then you don't have to worry about dingleberries in between but talk hovering mountains. in your butt talk mountains. <laughs> your butt talk mountains. I can honestly say I have never heard that term. I can honestly say there's a lot of terms I've learned sitting right here. The hoo hoo and the ha ha, the wee wee and the pee pee. The and, did, yeah. The, and the pee bug. Pee bug. What pee bug a like a little <laughs> that's where you go pee from it's the pee bug <laughs> that is one of my all-time favorite terms i swear i'm to God. sorry well what do you no want need to apologize it? it's not like we can just whip it out well we found out some women can uh yeah okay that their pee bug okay look it up um large <clears throat> clitoris okay and yeah. you're gonna see large some clitoris some Pea bugs <laughs> that look like winkies, and these yeah. women are proud of it. I would have my ass at a doctor and be like, "Doc, cut that shit down." Get I'm your grinder out, doc. Get your grinder out. Uh uh. Yeah, that a shit couple is of those not things. Right. She sent me a couple of pictures, and I swear to God, one of them was a penis. She's like, "No, it's not." I go, "That's a penis." No. Yes, it no, is. No, it starts no, it's from yes, it no, it's the Vijiji hoo ha entrance. And it goes right up to where the little pea bug is supposed to be, but it gets bigger. And it has the little front mountains. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing that one had. It had balls. I'm like, it's, I swear to God, it's balls. No, it's not. Those are yeah. beef curtains. No, they were beef curtains. The beef curtains are on the Fijiji hoo ha thing that has the. That's, yeah. Mm. Yeah. The puffers. When I take it, see, no, 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 I didn't. Hold on. <clears throat> now, if you look 
at the front of a woman. The pea bug is like a little bunny nose. And then the little puffers. It's so cute. The little puffers are the little puffy part next to it. So it's like a little bunny nose and cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take an anatomy class, folks. <laughs> and when I get a 32 on my exam... I'm going to say, well, what do you mean there's no puffy cheeks and a pea bug? That's what it is. It's a pea bug nose and little puffy cheeks. Like a rabbit, yes. It's yes. a cute little rabbit, Professor. That's Dude, right. you need to leave and don't try to be a doctor. <laughs> I'm like, that's what Tanya calls it. That's what it is. Hello, Andy. <laughs> Stern is looking different these yeah, days. Yeah, he, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Black Muddy River, Dark Star. <laughs> Black Muddy River is greater than Dark Star? <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> I laughed at that. I don't even know what the hell it meant. <laughs> I'm like, there's got to be a joke in there, and I'm just not seeing it, so I'm going to make a laughy face. Oh, Ed, Ed, Ed. Uh-huh. So anyway, okay. Now, Mr. Edwin. We had lawyer. Did we, did we finish one? Yes. Okay. Okay. I would like... Uh, exhibitionist. No, hold on. Okay. Now, my attention was brought to people who like feet. Toes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I can understand if a man likes to suck a woman's toes when they're clean and well taken care of. Maintain. Maintain. <clears throat> okay. You don't have these gnarly nails and all this fungal shit and Yellow, all that dead fungus, skin. Green nasty, shit. nasty, nasty. Okay. Did you know there are some men who like to suck on dirty feet? They actually want you to get your feet dirty so he can suck that nasty. You might as well call it jizz because it could be jizz in there because depending on where you walk and you don't know what you're picking up. It could be piss and shit and jizz and yak and... That's right. Depending on if she does one of those... Eat, 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 and what, it could be jizz all over um, it. And what about toe jam? Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to have some toast with butter. And can I get a little of that toe jam on this thing? So, yeah, it's kind of like uh, nasty gram toe jam. I don't know. It's... it's ugh. Yeah. So That's, I want to know what I'm people sorry. think about that. Yeah, I don't, actually. <laughs> I try. I'm going to try very hard not to. Oh, Unfortunately, tonight I'm going to be laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, looking at... Oh! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Wait. Wait. No, it's not too bad. She did that one night. Like, what was it, a month ago? I've been wearing them all day. She takes it off downstairs My after, feet after were the show. Sweaty. And it she's like... It so bad. She smells it. Goes ew. She no, I didn't. No, me. I didn't even smell. I took it off. I was like, "Oh my god, that's horrible!" I should have taken them off today. And like, I threw them down. Well, this dumbass goes picks up my damn uh, slippers, slipper booty, and he goes, and he's like, "Whoa!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dumbass. I just told you they stunk. Dumbass is <laughs> yes was the right term. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, you're not the only one, Lisa. She's gonna puke. <laughs> I just even the picturing, like you know, I know if I if I've umpired for like five games in a row and I take my socks off, I'm like, oh my god, I can't stand my feet. Somebody's gonna run up and start sucking on them. I'm like, dude, get away. Some guys like that. Mm. Just saying for the record. <clears throat> if some woman wants to do that, when my toes are that nasty, that will be the last thing she does <laughs> to me ever. I don't care if she's got. Huge bazongas and a nice booty, and she's going to throw herself at me. I'm like, dude, you want to lick my toes when they're nasty? Yeah, I don't think so. Then she's going to give you a big old sloppy kiss. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you up. can pick ah. the shit out of her teeth. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Wait, wait. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Oh, gotta love it. Can I have that glass bottle so I can break it on my head? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Black Peter. <laughs> Black Peter. 
man winky wink yeah, yeah that's what i think right black peter <laughs> it's alive boy Whoa. what do you have i've got a white salt <laughs> it ain't no black peter it's a white salt <laughs> really yeah hmm. lisa anybody out there i want it i want him to go get a girl and i want to hear about sir edwin i could have fun with that you know, she wants to follow me around <laughs> with a camera yes on his first date. on the first date with this whoever the hell first of all nobody's gonna even sign up <clears throat> you never know uh, uh, yeah I, know. I personally think i should be there and uh document so when you start chewing with your mouth open or you shovel like you know a truckload of food in your mouth mustard um yeah i can tell you it. no you don't <clears throat> do that um yeah so there's many reasons why i want to do this i'm gonna have a little earbud and i'll be like Oh yeah. He yeah. needs help. She's gonna have a four way radio. Three contestants and then she can just hit one of the things and <clears throat> tell them what to say, what to answer. No, I'm gonna be like ask him this, ask him that, ask him this. You do it like this, you do it like that, you do it I, with hey. a wiffle ball bat, yo. Really? That's Beastie really boys. Good. Really? Ice Cream Man. Van Halen. Oh, here we go again with the damn Ice Cream Man. That will be one of the songs I sing. Maybe, maybe out there. <clears throat> oh, good Lord. Tabrin. Really? Maybe. Again. Keep your eyes out for the event tomorrow. As soon as I have my meeting, I will be posting more information. Uh, so if you're in the area on May 29th, come out and see us live. You're going to have fun. So, live, live. What are you doing? I want to know what he's doing in that chair. You got um, something going. If you're making a mess on that chair. Trust me, I'm wearing my cup. Nothing's getting out. <laughs> nothing's getting in. Nothing's getting out. <laughs> What's in the cup that's making you wiggle? Well. Nothing. There's something in there because you're doing an awful lot. Both hands are right here. You don't have to. See? Do you see? He's got a little something going on there. <laughs> I do not want to be sitting here little when vibrator. something happens. Got a little no. vibrator. That's the size of a pea bug. <laughs> okay. So, okay, Ed. Yes? Okay. What about sucking on fingers? Diane had posted a picture, which I posted, with that woman who has, like, four foot long nails. They're so fucking gross. <coughs> Excuse me. They oh. turn all brown. Damn, they're all like... curly. Okay, they are so disgusting. Who thinks all that's I, attractive? All I think of is that is like a germ infested freak. Because there's no way you are keeping those clean. Okay? Between touching everything, you know, whether it's the walls, the floor, going to the bathroom, you can't tell me them things don't hit the toilet water. Yeah. Uh-uh. No. Somebody has nails like that. You do not eat at their house. You do not shake their hand. You do not even <clears> enter <throat> their domain. You do not get in their car. Nothing. And the same thing with them. People have them long-ass toenails. Wrong. Nasty. Plus, you, those people like to suck on toes. They cut the inside of their mouth all up. They might like it. <clears throat> That's just around. disgusting. It's just disgusting. I, okay, I agree. so now, okay, now if you have a woman who has well manicured nails, now I'm rough on my hands, I do not have nails, I cannot keep them, so I cut them, but they're, you know, anyway. They're but, but manicured, if, they're just short. They're just short. Now, okay, would you suck on a woman's fingers or would you rather have her suck on your fingers? Now, do you have to make sure that they're clean? 
okay? Do you want clean fingers or dirty fingers? Now that's the other thing is, when you actually go tumble into bed with your partner, whoever you happen to be with, if it's just a one night stand or a partner, whatever, okay? And you go to bed. One night stand. Okay, and you started getting frisky, okay? And you end up in the bedroom. What has she touched prior to that if you're going to suck on those fingers? I'm not sure that matters that much if you're going to, you know, lick her asshole on her cooch. I you're you're going to lick her asshole? I didn't say I was. Um, no, I'm just saying. Some guys no. do like that. Some girls do like that. Yeah, I know. I, I, oh, do you? I Do you? <laughs> Why don't you tell us about this? Okay, it's been a great night all. No, I want to hear about this. Uh, I have never been involved in giving or receiving. Why is he turning red then? Anal licking. Why is he turning red then? <laughs> you make me look at it. Look at look oh at my God, how many so shades bad. of red can look, Ed turn? Look at the puppy. <laughs> okay, so Ed, please enlighten us. Can you please tell us about anal licking? Uh. Apparently, it's done with the tongue now, and an anal cavity. Hold on, hold on. But now that, I ho, have never hold on, it. hold on. You if you're going to go into the anal cavity, Sadie, come here. No more. Come here. Um, now, if you're going to go into that anal cavity, this is when you want to make sure you don't have a dingleberry and your bung hole is waxed. Just saying. Yes, I agree <laughs> with that. <laughs> Preemptive assessment. <laughs> okay. So now, Ed. I don't understand it. Like you actually You brought just... it up. You brought this out I of did the blue. Bring it up. Yes. No, I, you you, you are still it up. so red. Oh my god. Red? Um what did you do? What did you do? Were you sucking someone's bung hole? Are out? you gonna rub my nose in it now? What, I... did, what did you do? Did you poopy on the carpet? <laughs> no, I want to know what you did with that bung. I have done. You were nothing. tongue in the bung. Nothing. I think he was tongue in the bung. You made a rhyme. Okay, he is trying to avoid it at all cost. Hey, Eddie. Nightmare. Yes. <clears throat> that would be the description of my life. <laughs> Hold on. What am I missing here? Yeah. <sighs> Uh, hello, Eddie. Um, so, no, he opened this up, literally. Uh, I, I did not. my line. You say something like when that. When I was I come... talking about the mountain cavern and waxing it, I did not bring up the anal cavity. No, you, you were talking about you where has her it. hands been? Are you really going to suck exactly. on them? And I said, these are the same people that will lick her asshole and cooch and... Me? No, thank no. you. I have I, not done I, that. I, no, I, I, no, 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 hold on. I have not the, done the, the or look received. That you gave me, the look that you gave me when I said, Ed, did you do this? And what did you do? What did you do? You're like, you were, he was all stupefied. Now, anyone who was watching I this. I was stupefied. You would see, I think he's, he does not want to admit that he has been anal sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I deny everything and have never done it and do not want to do it. It's ridiculous how you might as well just say, why don't you shit on a plate and let me eat some? Because you're doing the same thing. Okay, now. In my that humble. Brings, hold it. That brings me to something else. Very unlearned opinion. Hold on. Hold on. This brings me to something else. Now, if a guy's gonna go into the bungholio and do the va va va, okay, <laughs> and then pull it out and want to go and suck it, that was just in her bungholio. Yeah, that's another thing I don't get. Okay, now if you ain't gonna suck the Some bung, guys no, like that. hold on. If you ain't gonna suck the bungholio, you <clears> can't <throat> expect her to be sucking a bungholio in that unless she likes that deep, dark, natural chocolate. Dark chocolate, baby. Dark chocolate, healthy for you, girl. Yeah, girl, it's all healthy. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, she's going for the. Yeah, some guys are into that. They're gonna, they're gonna. Yeah. Bang her in the bung, and then they're gonna take it out and say, "Suck on it, suck on it." Yeah. So I want to know. Suck on your own 
juice and your shit and your dude really there's certain things that are acceptable but i'm saying if both people are into it that's one thing well yeah you know what i are. mean but i'm just saying if you have somebody who is not into that you can't go plowing into the <clears throat> dirt no and then expect her to clean it off <laughs> i like the way you put that <laughs> Like the way you put that. It was so G rated, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Zach can be G rated on occasion. <laughs> I have trouble with that. Being on or being G rated. Do you? Yes. I'm 99% <clears throat> of the time G rated. <laughs> this would be my eyes wide and my nostrils flaring. <laughs> Let's see. What? <clears throat> okay okay so now <clears throat> after the wrong holio now hold on what if she decided that she was going to use a vibrator or a dildo or something and be like i want you to suck this same thing where is it going first in her bung holio oh yeah no, not happening <laughs> look at this mess of crap so what if you would cut your damn hair you're looking like shaggy the air of sheep but sheep yeah it's funny shaggy i wasn't DA. moving and you were and i thought there was something wrong with the computer but i actually was not moving i know i gotta if if i don't i that sent my hair, friend a text that it's, hair oh my god it's it's three weeks overdue I, I should be getting a haircut now after the last one i had in between the one i really lastly had lastly had um, I did put the blue in my hair. Yes, and you can put the blue in mine when I get a cut. Um, and he was supposed to have it done at the same time. Mine is now washing out. I did have an appointment Thursday, and then I realized we made the appointment, I think Wednesday, I stopped by her place. Friend of mine. <clears throat> yeah. Set it up for one fifteen, and then looked at my calendar, everything, looked at my game schedule. Everything was good, and then I realized... Later that night, I had a doctor appointment. Okay. So, okay, you're boring us now. I know I am. Sorry. Yeah. So. Yawn. You should just, like, shave my head and leave a spike. Uh, that would be a mohawk. A mohawk, yes. That's what I meant. Oh, my God. Is anybody and out then, there that can help me with this? Then you can then you can shave the, the lower extremity. I am not touching your lower extremities. But I will have somebody do it. I will pay somebody to do it. <laughs> but I want video. Okay. <laughs> you should just get like a, uh, a hairspray, right? And then light it and just. Did you see? Burn there it all is off. a guy who actually lights people's hair on fire to cut it. Really? Yeah. I would I was, like to see that. I was like, hell no. He did a good job, but. No, thank you. What? Not for me. How do you do a good And then there's like another that? guy who does it with an axe. I was like, no. An axe? Yes. No. Yeah. That's, uh. No. <clears throat> no. Yo, show me where the axe hit you, baby. I got a friend that no. says that. Get it? Show me where the axe hit you, because it looks like an axe wound. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there, Are Danielle? Lel, 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 lel. <laughs> Oh my God, my brother went in a week ago. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Somebody get some oxygen. Gin, gin, gin. Yeah, gin too. He's going to need it when he gets out of that hole. You're a fucking freak. Oh, I just go off sometimes. <laughs> it's hot up here. I need some water dumped on me. Oh my God, shut up. Oh, what do you want to play, Maniac again? Maniac. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. I knew it. I just told somebody about that. I'm like, oh my God. Yes. I was like, in I was, the studio I was in here, the hair. he actually had to do Maniac from Flashdance. Yes, it was Maniac. Hysterical. It was great. Yeah. And she used to have a little cup. She'd pull things out. She had things for me to do. I'm like, but what, what, is, that what do? is that red cup? Is no, that for drink? They, is that for something? No, it's stuff you're going to do. What? Yeah. Excuse me? What? Oh, no, we still do. have what will Ed do. Um, you know, that's why he ends up with the Wings, uh, <laughs> nail polish, makeup, dick toss, <laughs> penis pops to go with this. Hey, you have your pussy bites. Yeah, where are they? But that was 
Oh, you got there's another one in there. I didn't know yes. there was another one in there. Here's okay. my oh here we go. <clears throat> now see, for those Let's of you see. who missed it, we did a penis toss. Diane was here, Ed was here. Everyone that both of them missed, he had to lick the glowing penis. Now, if they yes. got it, he got a pussy bite. Let's just say he was sucking a lot of dick. Yeah, and not only was I <laughs> sucking a lot of dick, but this one was shoving it down my throat and I actually got the back of my throat. And I'm like, oh my God, I know what you women feel like now. Holy shit. Oh, and my thing, smashing my teeth, my teethuses. I went to my dentist two weeks later. I was like, dude, what, what your mouth looks like hell. What were you, sucking a dick? I'm like, uh, how'd you know, doc? Don't tell anybody. Hey. I can't help it. You're a freak. <clears throat> it's uh, it's actually the I think it's the first show he's put on the YouTube channel. No. It was in February. No. No, it's not the. We didn't start putting them on YouTube till February, late February. I thought that was the one, the Friday night know. show with Diane I and Andy. Know. I'm sorry. I personally like April first. Yeah, April first was good. I, I told the person at Costco. Uh huh. Said, and you got to watch the April first show. Yes, I did so good. She might be one of the Bachelor. Oh, really? She's kind of a freak, I think. I don't know. Perfect. Stephanie, for you watching? If you are, laugh say at hello. me. Yeah, say hello and laugh at me. Yes. I would like to see you on the Jaden <clears throat> game, so you need to come out on May 29th at Martinsville Tavern. Uh, all right, I'll go to Costco tomorrow. Yes. Show her one of my pussy bites. I'm like, look. Uh, <laughs> Ew, dude, I don't want a visual it's plastic. For you. I don't and care. Candy. I don't care. It's like it's like an M and M. I need plastic yeah. barrier just sitting next to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that point. <laughs> I'll give you that point. Okay. Anyway, so on that note, we are going to wrap it up now. That's right. I'm going to go wrap it up right now. Oh. I'm going to get sick. Please don't talk like that. Sorry, sorry, people. I won't talk like that again. Unless you want to see that, then you can always mm. help him. I don't. So, what? Nothing. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. All right. So, anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow. I will be posting the event. Um, I will also have it on the page. Um, if you'd like more information, you can always send us a message. Um or you can PM us here on uh, Unusual PM Radio. PM, personal message. Oh, PM us. I thought you said PMS. I'm sorry. That's what it sounded like. PM us. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so stay tuned because we have a lot of really fun things coming up. Um, so until Hope Day. Bum, 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 bum. Mike, 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 Mike. It's our favorite day. Hope Day. So, Anybody want a bit of honey? Not yours. Yeah, you just keep that shit to yourself. You want a bit of my honey? No, I do not. Keep that shit to yourself. So anyway, okay. Everyone, you have a great night. If you face. are in New Jersey, it is going to be beautiful out tomorrow. 71 mm -hmm. and sunny. I can't wait. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, sunny bunny. I it was that's good. right. That's right. Anyway. Until about so, shut up. He never shuts up. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so until Wednesday, enjoy your day, enjoy your night, be safe, have fun, and we'll see you back here Wednesday night if you'd like to see us. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <That> freak. <laughs> <laughs>